This year's update to Apple's desktop operating system will be coming to the masses this fall. And while there's not as many updates as say iOS 11, there's plenty of changes to get excited about. I've installed the first developer beta onto my 2015 MacBook Pro, so let's see what's new. If you were hoping for a design refresh of the new Mac OS, you'll be sadly disappointed. High Sierra is more of a refinement and upgrade rather than an all new operating system. High Sierra is now using Apple's file system instead of HFS, meaning moving and searching for files will be faster and more stable than ever thanks to its all new 64-bit architecture. AFS is also more secure thanks to built-in encryption, crash safe protections and simplified data backups. Safari is also seen an upgrade with new JavaScript performance which Apple claims to be 80% faster than Google Chrome. Along with speed, Apple is also looking towards security in the form of blocking ad trackers. So once you've visited an online store or website, those annoying repetitive ads will stop following you. That's not to say it's blocking all ads, only the ones that track you around the web. Safari will identify the targeted ad trackers through machine learning, as well as being able to block videos that autoplay, which is super handy if you're a multi-tab surfer. Apple is also giving its own mail app a bit of a shrink in size, taking up 35% less space on your hard drive thanks to the aforementioned file system along with speedier search results, which I've got to say are definitely noticeable. Along with Safari and Mail, Photos is also getting an update with the new sidebar, filters and tools bringing it closer in line than ever to an app like Photoshop. Or if you prefer to edit with such apps, you can now right click on an image and choose an app to edit with. Once you've finished editing, hit save and the edits will save directly in the photos library. Plus, it'll be easier than ever to organise photos thanks to being able to drag and drop collected images to albums, exporting them to your desktop and rotating and favouriting batches right from the toolbar. The live photo animations that are now available on iOS 11, such as Loop and Bounce, also make their way to photos on the Mac too. Apple's graphic technology Metal, which works with the GPU to improve graphics performance, now has a new version. Cleverly titled Metal 2, it adds new capabilities such as machine learning, virtual reality support and support for external GPUs. So if you use your Mac for editing or to play games, you'll see a speed and quality improvement. Thanks to more and more of us consuming 4K video, Apple has introduced a new codec to replace H.264 with HEVC. HEVC will compress videos up to 40% more than the popular H.264 and will make them stream better thanks to having that smaller file size. For example, my 4K 5.5 minute iOS 11 hands-on video comes out at 1.63GB using H.264. If I re-export that using the HEVC codec, it compresses it down to an impressive 1.3GB. Siri on the Mac gets a lot of the same improvements as seen in iOS as well. You can now ask Siri to choose some music for you, and also gets the new and more human-like voices. I don't think you'd understand if you're an iCloud user, you can now share files stored within iCloud Drive to friends or colleagues also using the service. Spotlight can now look up flight times, terminals, gates, delays and even maps. You can ask it questions such as musicians born in Liverpool, to suggest novels by certain writers and more. Notes has a new pin feature to keep your most important notes to the top of the list to find them easier, as well as adding tables. FaceTime now allows you to take photos during calls, and there's new family iCloud storage plans of either 200GB or 2TB if you're in need of more storage. Finally, messages are now saved in the cloud to help reduce file storage on your Mac and keep all of the message up to date across all of your Apple devices. macOS High Sierra will be coming to public beta this month with a general release this fall. Well, that's it for this video, but let me know in the comments section down below what you think of macOS High Sierra. What's your favourite features? What's your least favourite? Give me all your thoughts in the comments section. Also, if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit that like button and make sure to hit subscribe so you don't miss a single video from Cult of Mac. I'll catch you in the next one.